I'm here today to show you and give some insight the difference between contour and bronzer. So what is bronzer and what is contour? First, let me show you how I do my bronzer. So for bronzer, I'm going to use this Hula bronzer from Benefit. I love this bronzer and it's actually one of the best seller for bronzer. What is bronzer? It is meant to mimic a sun-kissed finish to your skin, meaning it's gonna add warmth to your skin. So it's a little bit more brownish tone. Bronzer can make you look as if you've spent the days soaking up the sun. Um, there's also a difference between the color too. As I've mentioned to you earlier, um, bronzer is gonna mimic a sun kiss finish to your skin or it's gonna add warmth to your skin. So it's a little bit more warmer um, for the color. So this is from e.l.f. Cosmetics. It is their contour palette. Um, so as you can see, the contour, it is a little bit more towards cool undertone. Um, it has a grayish um, tint to it. Because this one is going to mimic a shadow to your skin and this is going to mimic a warmth to your skin. Okay, so how do you do bronzer? First, we're going to get a brush. And my favorite brush for the moment is from Sephora Collection. So I'm just gonna grab the product. So swirl this brush, top the excess powder. Make sure you top the excess powder, okay? Okay, so I'm gonna show you here where I place my bronzer. And you are going to apply to the highest part point of your face. So just imagine you're soaking up the sun. Which part of your face hit the sun most so the highest part point so you're gonna apply it right here in your forehead right here in your cheek so this is your cheekbone right here and this is the under so you're going to apply to the highest part point and right here too so this is the number three techniques don't forget number three techniques so from here going to the side going right here again from here going to this side and right there so it's number three so don't forget to include your neck as well So I'm just going to do the other side too. What do you think? Right? So for bronzer, it is just gonna add a little bit warm to your skin so it doesn't look like because when you apply the foundation um it cancel everything like redness because it's cover everything so there's no dimension to your skin so when you add bronzer it's just gonna help that dimension what is contour contour emphasize facial features with shadow that works best it is gonna mimic a shadow to your face. Contour help emphasize your facial features with a shadow that works best. Those shadows can be used to fake the appearance of smaller nose, chiseled cheekbone, um, stronger jawline, what else? Um, fuller lips. If you also have double chin like me, it also gonna help and create shadow there so it doesn't see or it doesn't emphasize this double chin. So let's grab this contour um, shade in this one from e.l.f. Cosmetics. We'll be using this brush from Sephora Collection. Um, this brush comes with the bronzer brush that we used earlier, so it comes with a set, a little bit denser compared to the other one that we use for bronzer. So it's gonna give you or deposit more product compared to a fluffy one. So let's just gonna grab this product. 
So where can we place the contour? Each of us have different shape of face. For my face, because I have this big forehead right here, and I want it to cut a little bit here, so I'm going to apply the contour right here. But for people that have like shorter um, forehead, they don't need to contour their forehead right here. So I'm just going to apply right here. The temple. Because I want to create a shadow there. Because if you can see, um, there's kind of like a shadow on our temple area. So we're just going to draw an imaginary line. So from here, from my ear right here going down to my hair but under my cheekbone can you see it you can feel your cheekbone right here you will apply the contour right there but you will stop where your eyes start as well but of course you're not gonna stop right there but you're just gonna blend it slowly a little bit and you're gonna blend it so it's not too harsh in that area so we're gonna grab the product. Again, starts from here. And then from here, going to this side. Remember, we don't want that double chin, so we are going to mimic a shadow there. Can you see? Again, the temple starts from your ear going to your mouth but you will stop where your eyes is but going like blend and then this side going to here kind of create that shadow mimic that shadow so your double chin is not like it, it, it doesn't emphasize or you're like covering your double chin you can also do contouring for your nose if you want to know how i did my nose contour i have very flat nose um i don't have that bridge but this is just like contour if you want to know how i did it i am going to uh, put the link here or right there um but yeah check it out too with the contour as well you want to make sure that you brush it up to your hairline the reason behind it sometimes because we have like different like for example here can you see that it's a little bit lighter so if you don't push the contour going to your hairline you are going to see your scalp so you want to make sure you're pushing it just a quick recap between bronzer and contour bronzer again it is gonna mimic a sun kiss finish to your skin it's gonna warm your skin so it's like having a tan um, you are going to apply a warmer tone which is a little bit more brown whereas for contour you are mimicking a shadow to your skin use something a little bit more cool tone so which is a little bit more grayish because again it's gonna mimic a shadow Thank you so much for watching guys i hope you like this video i hope you enjoyed this mini tutorial and if you want more please leave a comment down below and please do not forget to subscribe to my channel for more thank you so much and have a good one